Good morning, Jana. It's Friday. This week I come to you from my bedroom floor because it's been that kind of week. <laughs> I apologize if I ramble. I had a plan, but that fell through because again, that kind of week. I generally have a plan, but this is what the plan has deteriorated to. So Val did the typical freshman thing where she's tried to do too many things at once and it's kind of beginning to catch up to her. I'm gonna fix the problem, so that'll be fine, but it, the results of the problem aren't gonna end for like the next three weeks. So I'm just kind of like, huh, okay. I'm also super stressed out because we're declaring majors next week and declaring majors is kind of like you haven't read or seen Divergent, but there's this scene where in order to like seal yourself into whatever faction that you're going to be a part of, you need to like cut your hand and put blood on it because it's like a blood oath and I'm just kind of like, that's what this feels like because it's real super hard to switch into different engineering departments. I think I caught you up briefly on my ex existential crisis X amount of time ago, but Basically what I want to do is really hard and the path that I want to take that will give me an advantage and a leg up in the fields where I want to work is like double the hard. <laughs> and it's one of those things where like I could make as much money and be as intellectually stimulated in some other field and I would excel and not be stressed out specifically because I want to do what I want to do. It's just very intimidating. I've been talking to upperclassmen mentors from both paths that I went to take. I'm looking at bioengineering with a computer science double major. I talked to my upperclassmen mentors. They helped me make some relative decision for next week. I've talked to bioengineers. I've talked to computer engineers because I considered that for like a hot second because I was like, wait, computers is my forte. But then I realized that like, I have no desire to do anything hardware and I might as well just do computer science. But computer science is just depressing and the people are weird. So right now the plan is to declare bioengineering and see what pans out for computer science. Push comes to shove, I'll get a minor. Everything turns out hunky-dory, I get a double major. I've talked to computer science people and everybody's just kind of like, yeah, that's a hard decision, I don't know what to tell you. Actually, at the end of the conversation with this one computer science guy that I was talking to, I he had just admitted like, yeah, this is a hard decision, I probably asked some stupid question. Um, and Cause he was in like in response, he was like, well, do you want me to tell you what to do? And I just started laughing and I was like, I think in a sense we all do, but we all know that like that can't happen. <laughs> and he started laughing too. I almost forgot, how could I? For Song of the Week, I've started listening to Rod Stewart again, and while the song was originally by Sam Cooke, many of Rod Stewart's most popular songs were not actually written by Rod Stewart. It's called Having a Party. I linked a live version in the video, no, in the Song of the Week playlist. It's fun. Have fun. For Video of the Week, it's River by Leon Bridges. It's technically a music video, and be warned, it's sad and perhaps a tiny bit graphic, but it's really good. And it's February, so for Book of the Month, wait, let's see if I can get it actually a series of novelettes called Lineage of Grace. Francine Rivers. This is the first. Nope, this is the last one. Just kidding. There are a bunch of novellas by Francine Rivers. It's really good. It just basically tells the stories of the women in the Bible that are in the direct lineage of Jesus and it's actually really incredible. Even if you know the stories, it's well written in a way that makes them relatable and personal and it doesn't do anything like theologically questionable either. And I mean, they're like 70 pages, so just go for it. They're fun. Have a good week, Jenna, and don't forget to be awesome.